Welcome to the 2019 City of Port Adelaide Enfield Australia Day Awards here at the awesome New Parks Library. Mayor Claire Bowen, you're here to reward some outstanding members of the community today. I sure am. It's been such an honour to be able to see all of the fantastic entries of people who've contributed to our community and now tonight we get to award them. It's terrific. Let's go and have a chat to some of our winners. Alexandra Vakisidis, congratulations, City of Port Adelaide Enfield, Australian Day Citizen of the Year. I saw a big smile on your face. How does it feel? I got a shock. I couldn't believe it. You know, I was the lady. I can be the Australia winner. Thank you very much to all the people that nominate me. Can you tell all of the residents watching this just what you do for our local community? I look after the old people. I look after the young people. Doing fundraise for the hospital. I do lots of lots of things. You know because I make me happy to be a volunteer. I've got to always smile on the face when I help someone. Danny, you're here picking up the award for Young Australian of the Year on behalf of your brother, Matt. Where is he? He's away at the moment, unfortunately, but I am very happy and proud for him. Can you tell us a little bit about what he does for our local youth? He's worked with the youth, um, with the Ethiopian and Russian community. He works with the women's and men's uh, soccer tournament in the African Nation Cup. Yeah, he's just he's done a lot for the youth and just been a role model and always been there for them, giving them advice and taking care of them. And um, what was his reaction when he heard that he won this? He is very excited and happy. I had a call with him just beforehand. Um, he's, he's giving me all the credit just for being here for him, but yeah, unfortunately he's not here. John, committee member for the Semaphore Greek Festival, an absolutely fantastic annual event here in the city of Port Adelaide Anfield. What does it mean to you to win this award here tonight? makes me so proud of my community and the, and the committee that I work with. Um, it's an event that we look forward to every year and it gets so big and it's just fantastic. And can you just tell everybody how many people it takes to put together the Semaphore Greek Festival? We have over, over 250, 300 uh, volunteers as such, but even behind that, uh, look, you could say 500 people, it's, it's incredible. Sophie from the Experience Cafe based in our Kilburn Community Centre. You've won Emerging Community Group of the Year. What does that mean to you? Oh, it's very exciting to be acknowledged and uh, yeah, to just be part of this wonderful celebration and to see all the people here that are doing awesome things in our community because the cafe is a group of people that are all chipping in and getting behind that. So it's not just about me. I can't do it on my own. The Experience Cafe is about a lot more than just food and drink though. Tell us a little bit about what else goes on there. It's not about making money, it's just about building connections with the community. Volunteering is a big thing for people to get skills, that's right. 